All right, today we're hitting triceps with dumbbells. And the point of the video is to make 15 pounds feel like 30. And I know you guys at least have that. I've been to Walmart. I've seen what you've done. Even the pink dumbbells are gone. You guys are savages. So obviously one of the ways we can increase the amount of stress that little weight puts on the muscle is by changing the angle and working harder against gravity. And I've talked about this before, but in case you haven't seen it, what I mean specifically by that is say we're doing a skull crusher. Typically most people's arms are going to be at 90 degrees. And at that point, the peak of the gravity's force is going to be right at that 90 degree angle with your elbow. But at that point, you have so much help from the antagonist muscle, your bicep, that you can spring up more weight than you probably should. So what we can do instead of starting at that 90 degree angle, we're really halfway up is the hardest part of the contraction. And you still have a lot of support from the antagonist bicep. We can move it up to 45 degrees where now at this point, the hardest part of the contraction is three quarters of the way up and you really have no support whatsoever from that bicep. It's all the tricep flexing it up. Now what you could have done 30 pounds with, now you probably have to only do 15 pounds or the pink weights you bought from Walmart. The name of the game here, and really where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck, is taking movements you already do and finding different ways to crank up the intensity. Whether that's through exaggerating the stretch of a movement or breaking a movement down in two or taking a different grip you're not used to taking or just being completely obnoxious and doing all three at the same time. For instance, you can lay on your side, which you've probably never done for triceps because why would you? You've never been quarantined like this. And what you can do is instead of taking that normal hammer grip that you're gonna wanna take, take a reverse grip that's gonna engage more of that inner part of your tricep and then break it down into two motions. So you're flexing up, engaging that long head and then flexing over top of it. I think everybody would universally agree, if you want to create a better contraction, a better connection to that muscle, no matter how much weight you have access to, the best way to do it, probably the easiest way to do it too, is by slowing down the movement. You can take a movement like a single arm French press, which you probably could have done 50 pounds with before, but slow the negative and positive down to a five count, and good luck getting 20 reps, and you'll be more torn up than you've ever been before. Hell, if all else fails, make it like a drinking game. Every time your wife or your partner calls you an asshole, do 20 diamond push-ups. That should do it. So as always, like, subscribe with the notification bell. Leave a comment the video you want me to do next. Get after it, get growing. I'll talk to you soon.